SoulScan, is it the best Solana Explorer? Is there a secret upcoming competitor? I actually think there is. Let's find out. Hi, my name is Leon. I'm the content creator over at Collective Shift, where we try and give you the best and updated information in the crypto ecosystem so you can unlock your wealth and financial freedom. In this video, we're going to talk about SoulScan. I'm going to give you four points. First off, an introduction to SoulScan itself. What does it do for us? Is it good? Number two, how to use the DeFi dashboard and look at all the AMMs in Solana, which is the automatic market makers. We can look at where all the volume and all the transactions are happening in Solana. After that, I'm going to do a test transaction and you can follow right along with me where we can look at the transaction on the Blockchain Explorer and follow it from wallet to wallet. And at the end, I've got a little secret source, the competitor, the upcoming competitor and watch till the end of the video so you can find out who it is. I really, really like them. Before we go on, I want to let you know that please like and subscribe this video if you like the content. If you are a sophisticated investor or very uh, crypto enthusiast, please look in the description below so you can go to the Collective Shift website using a discount code so that you can get the most out of your crypto experience. All right, let's get started. All right, so we start our journey at the SoulScan Twitter. It's SoulScan at SoulScan Official, and their website is SoulScan.io. They've got 18,000 followers. And when you go to their website, this is the first thing you'll see. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to give you a small introduction to SoulScan. What does it do? It allows you to view the blockchain. The blockchain is a machine that keeps running with all of the different uh, validators across the world making the blockchain run. SoulScan is what you call an explorer. It lets you explore the blockchain as it's running. Uh, so in this, you can actually see a whole bunch of different stuff. You can see all the transactions that are happening, who is voting for what, what NFT was bought, where all the funds are, where all the volume is for the DeFi enthusiasts out there. So there's a lot of stuff to actually cover. We're going to cover only a few things here. We're going to look at where the DeFi dashboard is, how to look at NFTs, and possibly how to send a transaction. And then after that, we'll look at the uh, uh, secret uh, competitor, which I think is pretty cool. So first off, this is the home screen. You click on home and it takes you right there. There are certain filters you can use because you can search for an address, you can search for a block transaction, or you can search for a hash key, which is uh, generally what is generated when you send a transaction. We're not going to do that at the moment. We're going to explore the home page. On the bottom left hand side, you can see the total Solana supply, the circulating supply against the non circulating supply. On the right hand side, you can see how much of that is actually staked in the contract itself. On the bottom left hand side, there is the NFT dashboard. This is not up to date. I would honestly recommend using Magic Eden's NFT dashboard. The editor here is going to give us a small link to the Magic Eden YouTube video that we did really recently. On top of that, this is the DeFi dashboard, and this is we what we're going to have a look at right now. The DeFi dashboard shows you where all the volume is in uh, Solana. And volume generally means is, uh, the amount of transactions buying and selling a specific market. So for example, we can see this small graph here. Let's go ahead and visit the dashboard in its entirety. We can see Radium is an automatic uh, market maker in Solana. And over here, you can see all the different dashboards. So the, all the different pairs. So this is the Solana and USDC pair. This is the Radium and Solana pair. This is the Radium and USDC pair. Radium USDT, Sol USDT, and all the way until you get 700, 1,700 pairs. So there are actually a lot of them. Now, which pair has the most volume? It is the Solana and USDC volume at $33 million in TVL, followed very closely by half the amount of TVL at 15 million. Now, volume is the amount traded back and forth every day. So within the last 24 hours, there's been 5.7 million uh, uh, of volume of B or traded back and forth between the Solana and USDC pair, if that makes sense to you. The last trade was about two minutes ago. Now that is just on Radium, which is one um, automatic market maker on Solana. There are nine so far, Radium, Orca, Serum, Aldrin, Step, Whirlpool, Lifinity, Soros, and Door. Now, if you've heard of Door, it is the step AMM. It is a recent AMM, and we can see here that the volume is pretty consistent. 8.6 million volume started a month ago, and now it's still got it's got 9 million volume, which is amazing. Sorry, this is the total value locked, not the volume. Don't listen to me. <laughs> so we can see there are only actually three pairs on this uh, serum on this uh, door market. It's the GST and UST pair and the USDC pair, the Solana and USDC pair, 
and GMT to USDC pair. And they all have really good volume at 4 million, 2.3 million, and 1.9 million. So you can look at all the different uh, AMMs in Solana, Radium, Orca, Serum, and you can see where all the volume is, who's trading what and where. For Serum itself, there is a USDC and Sol pool which has $28 million in TVL and $23 million in volume. So within the whole day, within one day, nearly the entire volume, nearly the entire TVL has been traded in volume, which is crazy. That means this is a very tight pool of people going back and forth with the same assets. So that's the DeFi dashboard. There are a lot more stuff we can cover here, but let's go ahead and show you how to look for a transaction that we're going to send to ourselves. So I'm going to go here and log in into my Phantom wallet. This is the most popular wallet in Solana at the moment. This is a test transaction wallet that I have. So you can feel free to look at this on the blockchain. I have this wallet. I have Solana. I have 0.16 Solana in there. I'm going to go ahead and send 0.1 Solana, 0.1 Solana, which is $4 and 35 cents at the moment. I'm going to send it to my step in account. OK, let's go ahead and click send. And you're going to see how incredibly fast this is. Click send, send now. It's sending. Let's go view the transaction. I'm going to tell you the transaction has already been a success. It's already had three confirmations, which is amazing. Nine confirmations. So the transaction had already been settled and completed even by the time I loaded the website, which is incredible. OK, so in this uh, little transaction has, which is the transaction I just sent, you can go ahead and copy this and look at it for yourself on the blockchain. We can tell a few information. First thing, this is the signature of the entire transaction that I sent. This is the string of letters that's trans uh, that's uh, uh, created to let everyone know this is that transaction. So you, if you have this, you can type it in anywhere into any Solana Explorer and it'll tell you the details of that transaction. This is the block number that it was uh, created in. So of course, blockchains work in blocks and my uh, hash number was specifically in this block, which is 11456 It was created one minute ago. It is a success. The fee for this transaction was 0.00005 SOL, which is a couple of cents. Nothing much, really. It's a, a thousandth of a cent, really. What does it actually say? It transferred from this account, which was my uh, original test wallet account, to my other account, which is what we did. You saw me do it right then, and it was for 0.1 Solana. This is where it gets a bit more complicated, and you do not have to understand all of this stuff because there are system programs that allow you, that allow the, the there are uh, infrastructure that allows you to do all of these transactions. This was a very simple send transaction. There are very much more complicated ones where it's basically you have to uh, interact with a contract and then it executes a program and then it has to do this and there's lots of different layers on top of it. But that is basically how to look and send a transaction. Let's go ahead and look at the competitor, which I'm very excited about. I'm going to take this same transaction, the transaction signature or the transaction hash, copy that. Now, let's go to the um, Solana FM Explorer. They uh, market themselves as a friendly Solana Explorer. Look at this. It's got the Solana's price, which is $43. It's got the true TPS because in Solana, they also include the validator votes in transactions. So according to SolScan over here, the transactions at the moment is, uh, where is it? TPS is 2,640. But over here, it's actually 625 because they are counting the votes of the validators in this uh, block explorer. However, in Solana FM, they're saying, no, we are not counting the votes. It's actually 625 transactions per second, which is a lot better than a lot of other uh, a lot of other blockchains out there at the moment. So we can see these are all the different transactions and uh, hashes being uh, created and they're validators. Let's go ahead and paste that single transaction I did into the Explorer. I'm going to press enter and it visualizes the whole transaction for you. It tells me this is the sender. This is how much I send. And this is the receiving account. And this can be very, very complicated, especially when you're looking at a, a program account or a smart contract account, because there are lots of different inputs and a lot of different outputs with lots of different programs that are associated with it. But uh, basically, this is what we're seeing here. According to this explorer, this is what it looks like. And according to SolScan, uh, let's go ahead and search that transaction again. This is what it looks like. Now, which one do you prefer to look at? 
I honestly prefer Solana FM. So in answer to this, I think that the uh, competitor Solana FM is a little bit better than SoulScan, but everyone loves using SoulScan. It just takes a bit of time. And that's it, guys. So I'm going to stop it there. I hope I've been able to give you an introduction into SoulScan itself. We looked at the DeFi dashboard and looked at all the different transactions that are occurring on the Solana blockchain. Thirdly, we did our own transaction and we're able to visualize that on the blockchain using both SoulScan and Solana FM. Remember, Solana FM is the upcoming competitor. Now, I want to ask you guys, what do you think of SoulScan and what do you think of Solana FM? Do you think Solana FM has what it takes to actually overtake SoulScan? I think it has a long way to go in my opinion, but I love using it more. So you tell me down in the comment section below which one you like the most. Now, I'm going to give you an action right now. I want you to go and look at your own transactions in the Blockchain Explorer. Do you have experience with this? It's actually quite easy. All you have to do is copy your blockchain transaction and paste it into the Explorer. And it tells you all the information you need to know. So that's it for now, guys. I'm going to leave it there. Make sure you like and subscribe the video because there are more videos coming that are going to give you the best information you need to survive in this crypto bear market. This has been Metaverse Explorer, content creator over at Collective Shift. Make sure you like and subscribe this video for me. Thank you very much. If you like the other videos, make sure you watch them right here. Thank you very much. Ciao.